Hello comrades, Kamius Habro here today. I know it's been a while and you're probably like, what the freak, dude? And I'm like, sorry, I love you guys, you know that. Anyway, so we're here today with Mad Games Tycoon, that's right. It's been fully released and this is a game I took a look at a long time ago. Uh, almost a year, I, I don't know if it was a year ago or a year and a half ago. I'm too lazy to go back and look, but what's important is we took a look at this game a long time ago, and it was phenomenal then, when it was still in early access, and now it is 100% fully released, baby. That's right, and CB is super excited to recommend the dog shit out of this game, because it's effing awesome, man. It's effing awesome. Quite possibly the best video game tycoon game I have played by far. So we're going to start out by starting our own uh, you know, company, tycoon thing, game development studio. We're going to start by naming ourselves, which is going to be... Yeah, we'll just name it Commissar Bro. Keep it simple, right? Our company name is going to be Seabro Industries. Sure, why not? Sounds legit. Our symbol is going to be, I don't know, this guy. No, this guy. This guy or this guy or this guy or this guy. Let's go with this guy. I like him. I'm digging him. Choose country. The United States. Sounds good to me. Choose my gender. Male. Sounds pretty good to me. Choose game settings. All right, so we're going to disable this tutorial because I know how to play the game. Uh, yes, everything looks pretty good. Uh, random genre combinations. Yeah, no, let's not do that. Random concept settings, no, let's not do that. And, uh, yes, all the features are pretty much good to go. So, everything's good to go. Let's jump right on in. Here's our game developer, Mr. Commissar Bro. He seems like a nice fellow. His special features is gonna be in, should it be in sprites? I don't know, let's say, what do we got? What do we got? 3 CD quality music? Scripted AI scrolling sprite sprite should it be sprites? I feel like it might should be sprites. Oh, I don't know. I kind of dig isometric 2D engines. That's pretty cool. Who doesn't like a good old-fashioned isometric 2D engine? This guy. This guy does. That's the answer to that. And we're gonna say real-time strategy is my uh, go-to genre. So, what are my capabilities? Am I fast? Am I? Am I good at actual game design? Let's say that I am, and I'm not that fast. So that's pretty much what I'm good at. I'm really good at game design. All right, seems good enough. No, you know what? Let's do music and sound and one in game design. Everything else I'm freaking terrible at. Seems legit. Yeah? No? Yep, okay. Seems good to me. Let's click on it and move on. Game speed. I'm more of a fan of a standard type speed, and starting in 1980 is just fine for me. Uh, what's the difficulty? We'll go with easy, because, you know what, let's not make it hard on ourselves. Alright, so in Mad Games Tycoon, you start out in a little garage with a little bit of money and a little bit of ambition, that's right. What's my little dude trying to tell me? Nothing interesting, I imagine. So, we're going to start by building a room, just one little development room which is going to be made up of, you know what, this whole side of the house, F it. I really don't care. That seems like a good choice. Put it all the way down here. Let's do furniture. Go on over to desks. And what would be a good desk to spend our money on? Well, this here gray desk seems absolutely fitting. So we're going to build that. All right, super expensive, but it should be real top tier quality. We're going to click on Mr. Commissar Bro here and put him in there uh, to get him to start working. That's right. So let's actually start developing our own game. Develop game. What do we want to call it? We can click random. It'll give us all sorts of things. Called to Duty, Floyd Legend, Super Luigi. Luigo. I think we're going to name our game. Actually, let's pick a topic before we name it. Oh, so Demons, Ice Hockey, and Digging. We're going to go with demons. What's the main genre? Arcade skill or puzzle? We're going to go with skill. And uh, without an engine? Right, because we don't have one. Select the target audience. I'm not really particular. Let's go with adults. And you know what we're going to call it? Not doom, but gloom. That's right. 
Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So retail. Yeah, we're going to stick with retail. All right. There we go. Let's hit it. Select the platform. Of course, we're going to play it on a computer. And uh, let's move on. What do we want to do? Focus on gameplay. Absolutely. This is a skill-based game after all. Uh, so putting a heavy focus on gameplay seems smart. Also, putting a heavy focus on the game length is probably a good idea, as well as the functions of the game. Should it be depth? Not really. Um, but it is skill-based, so maybe keeping it in the middle is a good idea between beginner-friendly and having depth. Who should it be focused for? The core gamer or the casual gamers? I think I would go a bit more for the core gamers. That's right. Seems legit to me. So let's do that. And we'll keep everything about in the middle. We will provide multiple languages for our game. Uh, English, German, and French seems to be a good place to start. All right, and it's going to be text support. Text-driven graphic system. This is going to be phenomenal. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. They've added little weather effects to the game. I dig it. How beautiful are those? So we can speed up our game. Um, and we're going to do that right here. Just click super fast to get things done. Should we hire another person? Probably not a bad idea. But let's try releasing our first game by ourselves before we go and hire other people. Uh, that seems like a good thing to do. In the meantime, let's go ahead and buy us another desk. This desk we're going to be a little bit cheaper on. We're going to go ahead and just go for the gray uh, tiny desk. And we're going to plop it right there for only $1,400. Got to keep it cheap. We've only got $8,500 after all. And is my game going to be finished? Let's finish this bad boy. Gloom is ready to be published. Let's do it. Put it out there. Throw it out there. So what you're going to have to do when you first start out, because you're not able to publish your own games yet, is you're actually going to have to get someone to do it for you. It's important to take a look at who's got the higher market share, who also has the highest market strength, and it's also important to keep in mind who the fan base of the game uh, that you're making is. In this case, we have a skill-based game, so it's probably a good idea to go with Blue Ocean. With that said, Blue Ocean also has a stronger uh, share price than the other people do if we go all the way down the list and take a look see yeah so it seems like going with blue ocean is a safe choice we're gonna go ahead and do that we gained a little bit of experience in demon games and skill games and in personal computer games so boom baby let's release it and let's see how well we did okay not bad yeah, look at it. it. Yeah, not bad at all. It, it continues to go up. 67. I don't really know how those averages average to 68%, but whatever. Seems pretty legit. So the reviews are saying the graphics are great. They're the best I've seen in some time. Uh, the sound is well done, and it's all around solid with not much to complain about. The controls are very well done. Only small tweaks are necessary, and the game shows its strengths during gameplay. Well done. The game isn't too bad, but it could definitely use some improvement. I suppose so. So we got a 68% on the game. Not bad for our first attempt. And let's see how much money we're going to make. Ooh, $12,000 in the first week. Ooh, there we go. There we go. So we're selling some copies. We're moving some, getting some fans, and getting new research and so on. So this is basically the minimal aspect of the game. This is how it works. Um, however, as you grow bigger, you can start publishing your games, you start actually manufacturing your games, and truly you start getting very in-depth with the, the whole process, and it's really, really freaking cool. Like, I really like this game, and I think it's a total blast. We're gonna go ahead and hire somebody else. Who would be someone... Who's a strong choice for our company? Well, it seems pretty obvious right here. Ruben Irving's got the highest game design. If we take a look at programming, the highest is Valdemar, or Waldemar, Waldemar, I guess it's Valdemar Pierce, who's level two. If we take a look at graphics, once again, Ruben. And on sound, we've got Holger Camacho, uh, and so on. Probably going with someone who's strong in programming to make up for our lack of programming and graphics capabilities. So that seems like a good idea. We're going to go with Valdemar Pierce. 
A good choice, a good choice. So now he's going to help us start producing our games. Uh, should we take on some contract work, maybe? Is there anything we could do pretty quickly? Uh, I don't see why not. Let's take on a small workload first. Um, it seems like improving concept for e Ibusoft is a good way to start. Let's see if we're actually going to be able to do it. Oh, absolutely. We are more than capable of completing this contract. Contracts make for a great way to make a little bit of money here or there. So I would definitely recommend uh, that you actually take those on, especially when you get bigger. Like, you would think you're not going to need it when you get bigger, but trust me, you will. So something else we're going to build real quick is we're going to build us a little research room. That's right. We're going to need to be able to do some R&D after all. Uh, if we're going to be able to expand our company to get any bigger. We've got plenty of topics to choose from. I'm going to go with aliens. We're going to research us some aliens and we're going to hire... Well, first, we need to put another desk in there. We're going to take a gray desk and we're going to have one researcher working in there. Uh, click X. Click X. Yes, video game sale. Boom. Sweet. Phenomenal. Video game boom. That's exactly what Daddy wants to see right there. Office work. Who's the best at it? Holger, come on, show. All right, so he seems like a pretty good choice for the job. We're going to go ahead and hire him on. And he is now our researcher. And he is researching aliens for us. It's going to take him a little bit of time, but he'll get it here soon enough. And we're making money still. So let's go ahead and start producing another game. This one is going to be called The Legend of Nelda. And uh, the target audience, I think, is going to be children or teenagers. All ages, truly. It's going to apply to all of them. Uh, what should it be about? Ice hockey! We're going to call it something else. <laughs> Demon's Row, Steel Gear, Teleport, Blue Dead Redemption. You know what? We're just going to call it Hockey uh, 1980. Because that's what year it is. So, Hockey 1980. Seems like a good choice. Select the main genre. It's going to be an arcade game. It's not going to have an engine because we haven't built our own engine yet. And we're going to move on. Click personal computers. Absolutely. Focus on the gameplay. Absolutely. We're actually going to bring that back just a little bit. The game length is pretty much the primary function. Um, I think arcades there is good. Focus on the beginner. Uh, and we'll put that there as well. Looks good. Looks good. And all oh, that's pretty good. We're going to put a higher focus on gameplay this time around. We put a strong focus on graphics before. So I think this is going to really benefit us. Uh, indubitably, sir. Indubitably. So we're producing our second game. Let's see how this bad boy does as opposed to how the first one has done so far. The first one has at this point sold 13,000 copies and is doing pretty phenomenally. I'm really hoping that Hockey 1980 is going to be an absolute blast amongst our fans, but who knows? Maybe it's going to end up being super freaking boring and no one's going to like it. Do I want to publish the game now? Absolutely. Take advantage of this video game boom. Who is someone who publishes arcade games? Kremlin. Seems like a good choice. All right. Boom. There we go. Getting some extra experience. And we've released our second game. That's right. Let's see how it did. The graphics look really good. There isn't much to complain about, and the sound is well done. It's all around solid with not much to complain about. The controls are below average, a little polish, and they would be good. The gameplay is average, a little polish, and they would be good. It's a good game with some flaws, just short of gold, though. So we got a 77% on it overall. Gameplay being the lowest rank. Actually, no control being the lowest rank, with the gameplay pretty low as well. Overall, we did pretty good with this game. And it's going to sell really, really well. Um, so let's see. Hockey 1980. Bam. Breaking sales records in the first week. Uh, and honestly, it's going to surpass Gloom incredibly fast. So yes. Good job, ladies and gents. Good job indeed. And 100% of that profit is just going right back to us. So as you see here, we're making... Buku Cash. So something else that's important to mention is about this game is you actually do get bigger houses which increase in space. Um, eventually you'll actually have like full-blown gigantic office buildings which are absolutely 
massive and have plenty of room and you'll be having multiple development studios inside your own studio it's really cool all in all mad games tycoon is a fucking blast if you're even remotely a fan of games that are about game dev tycoon type stuff this is definitely one that you should get your hands on it's really the best one i've played definitely the most in-depth plenty to do and an absolute blast, truly. But anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Take a quick look at Mad Games Tycoon. You can get it right now on the Steam uh, you know, distribution platform. So get up over there and buy this badass game. But anyway, this has been CB, and I'll see you next time.